Hello, Trailblazers. Do you need to track commissions paid out to sales employees? Today, I'm going to show you how to do it quickly in Zero. All right, let's dive into Zero, and we'll show you how to calculate and track sales commissions. So the first step, we're going to come up under Accounting. We're going to click Advanced. And this is where your setup uh, settings are going to be. And we're going to look for this thing called tracking categories. Tracking categories is a fascinating thing that they use in Xero. If you're familiar with QuickBooks at all, it's very similar to class tracking that they use. Um, but from here, you can set up two different categories that you can track. So right now, they have it set up where they're tracking by location. So a lot of times you'll see companies, you know, if you have different locations, such as this has got east side, north, south, west coast, if you're in Colorado, you might have your Boulder location, your Denver location, you know, your Fort Collins location. Um, another option you can do is track by departments. There's a whole bunch of stuff that you can use tracking for. Um, that's a video for another day. Today we're going to talk about using tracking to keep track of your sales commissions. So we're going to add a new tracking category. And we're going to call it sales rep. And then let's say we've got three salespeople. So Matt, Lisa, and Nicole. So we're going to set those up. So now we have two different trackings. And in Zero, it only lets you have two tracking. So we've got our region, which is our location codes, and then we have the sales reps that we just added. So now we're ready to use this function. So let's go in and create an invoice. So if we create a new invoice, let's say we're going to use ABC Furniture. Today's date is fine. We're not going to fill in all the information, but let's just call it Sales to customer, and it's a five thousand dollar invoice. We're going to post it to sales, and this is where you pick your category tracking. So here you can pick region, or we're going to pick our sales rep. And let's say that Lisa sold this product, so we're going to approve. And then let's add another invoice, just for sake of showing. So basket case for 7500 and let's say Nicole did that one. And one more. Unit price, this one was for $6,500. And we'll say Nicole did this one as well. All right, so we've got three invoices in zero. And we're going to now dive over and pull up our reports. So we're going to click on accounting, come down to reports. And under your financial reports, we're going to click more reports. And way at the bottom is this tracking summary report. We're going to go ahead and click on that. And let's say it's now the end of the month, or we're just pulling it mid-month because the salespeople want to know where they stand on their sales. So you want to put in the dates. We're just going to use November since we don't dated all of our invoices for November. Account groups, you can pick the different areas that you want to track. So if you were keeping track of expenses or cost of goods sold, you can use those. For our purposes today, we're using sales categories. And we want to track by sales rep. So we're going to hit update. And then this report populates. Now, the interesting thing about this report to remember is that this opening balance column is how many sales happened before you started the tracking, before the period of the report. And then net activity are the sales that were generated during this month. And then closing is your total sales. So you can see there is Lisa, Nicole, and then unassigned. 
So unassigned means these are all the invoices that have been done that haven't been given to a sales rep. So when you start this, this is a great way to go in and make sure that all invoices were assigned to a sales rep. And as you can tell, Matt does not show up on the list because he didn't have any invoices this month so far. So let's say we want to look into Lisa. So we're going to click on this $5,000 for Lisa. And then it just gives the total. So now we have to click on the $5,000 again. And you can see it pulls up all of the details. So if you need to see specific details of each customer, it puts it in the report. Now the great things you can do with this is at the end of the month, you can click publish. If you're not going to do any more invoices, that saves a copy of this record. You can also export this to um, Excel or Google Sheets. And that makes it super easy if you want to add a line to calculate your commission and then send that over to your payroll department or use those for your payroll records. Um, let's jump back to this one and I'll just show you Nicole's as well. So again, we click on the number and then we need to click on the number again. And then this should detail, remember Nicole had two sales this month, so then this one details out her two sales. So I hope that helps you track commissions in zero. If you have any questions, definitely reach out. If you enjoyed this video, if you learned something new, please give us a thumbs up. And I hope you have a great day. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.